How's it going, YouTubers? Nightmare Seven here, back with another toy review, and it is another Transformers review. And it is, of course, the Siege Ironhide mold, the final mold I'm reviewing of him. Sorry, excuse me, fellas, had a drink. Today I'm reviewing the um, it's the Netflix Army Drone from the Netflix series, of course, it's called the DCS, the DCS, I think. DCS Army Drone. I can't remember the first word. I don't know, I can't pronounce it right, but this is the um, Army Drone from the Netflix cartoon. Well, show anyway. I don't, I never watched the show, so I don't know if the drone actually ex exists in the um, uh, show. Army Drones, I don't know if they exist in that show. And I don't really care to watch that thing. The voice acting in that show, no offense, is horrible, you guys. Optimus Prime and Peter... Optimus Prime isn't voiced by Peter Collin. Neither is Ironhide, like they were in G1. Megatron and Soundwave aren't voiced by Frank Welter. Shockwave isn't voiced by Corey Burton. None of them, none of the um characters have their old G1 actors in that show, which I think it's dumb. But here we have the army drone, and that is really beautiful. The weathering they did here, the battle damage... They did a really good, Hasbro and Nakara, they did a really good job with this. Looks quite amazing, quite beautiful. He's got a tinted, um, I guess they almost purple window. You can see the back of the head a little bit. And he's got the, um, DC is a uh, symbol. Or the Quinton symbol, I don't know how you pronounce that. But here it is. The weathering, though, looks really beautiful. The weathering right here. Oh, man, that looks so beautiful, you guys. Really beautiful. They did a really had run the car they did a really good job with this repaint. The, it's basically all black with some silver battle damage. And some a little bit of gray and some more weathering there on the panels. Dude, dudes. This thing is a beautiful beauty. It looks really beautiful. And here we have the weapon. It comes with same the exact same hammer weapon that Ironhide would come with, same with crosshairs. Which you already saw in my previous review. I compared them together. And again, I'm not going to get too much into detail because I already reviewed this already. You guys, so I might not do a big review, a big video today, you guys. But um, this is still a really nice figure. And uh, I will show off, though. I actually got this figure from a friend of mine in Kansas. And he actually gave me some... He actually made a custom weapon upgrade for the drone. He has a recent printer... And he printed these for the drone. And he gave me a smaller gun and a bigger gun. These could look like shot. These kind of look like shotguns. This could be like a little saw-off shotgun. That's what I like to call it. And this could just be a long shotgun that shoots lasers. So he painted it green. But the, the detailing he did, the engineering he put on it, dude... That looks beautiful. Looks quite beautiful. The weathering. All this. That kind of looks like scratches. Some paint scratch that kind of looks like. Looks really beautiful. He did, the, he did these designs himself. And printed them out. And same with this little shotgun. That looks, oh, the detailing, oh, man. Amazing. It's quite beautiful, you guys. It's very beautiful. You might see some lining, but this is not actual 3D printed filament. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's actually recent, actual molded plastic, so it's nice and smooth. You got a little hole there, but it can't really connect to the shotgun very well. Or I don't think they're meant to connect that well, but, um. So I don't want to have to pry it out, pry it in, force it in, because I might break this. But he painted the inside green with the middle being silver to make it look like two separate holes. Quite beautiful, you guys. He did a really good job. The weathering he put in, it's amazing. So I'll do a 360 of the, um, the army drone before I transform this thing. I will show you the transformation. It is really simple. But guys, really beautiful weathering rolls just as well as any other figure so transforming him take down these panels bring out the legs 
fold them out. Bring this piece out, the window. Bring out, disconnect the arms. Disconnect this piece. Bring it out for a little bit. Bring it out for a bit. Rotate this 180 degrees. Let's bring out the fist, the arms like that. Some of them you have to get through that crotch piece. That's get. You have to bring it up a little bit so it can get through the cross crotch piece. So it brings feet up like that. Bring the. So send him bring the arms out like this. So he's pretty much all complete, almost complete. Bring this piece down until you hear that click. Then bring the head out. And there you go. Close this piece so it's on a hinge. See that? See those little lines? See that gap there? That's for um this piece. Let me bring the camera up a little bit. And there you have the army drone in robot mode. And this guy, this figure could go for, could be perfect for a shattered glass Ironhide custom. So pretty much just painted all black. So basically movie Ironhide colors. And make some of the, like the thighs, the um, elbows, the fist. Just gotta make them red and give Ironhide, give this figure... It has blue eyes. If you give it red eyes, you're basically you basically have shattered glass iron hide. And just need a purple Autobot symbol. And then it is basically the Cybertron mode shattered glass iron hide. That's what I thought it was in the first place. But it's actually just the army drone. But so but this like I said, this could pass for a shattered glass iron hide custom. And then as for the weapons, again this could be the hammer thing. If you really care for it, in which I don't, so I just like to consider it a weapon. And if you want, hold, have them hold the other, you know, just have them hold the other shotgun. And this could go for like a shoulder cannon. Any 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 place with any spot would do. I'll do that. So he could bang bang. He's got some rockets in there, done in green, and he could. Pew, pew, pew. Ready to shoot either the auto since it's a Quinton a um Quinton I don't know how you pronounce that symbol, but it's not an Autobot, really. I doubt it would. Um, I think it's actually one of some type of Decepticon troops. I think they helped the Decepticons. I don't know, but this could, I guess, I could say, fight some Autobots, and no, some Autobots will have trouble fighting fighting this character. Because of the firepower it has, or at least for my copy anyway, shoot some Autobots. Pew, pew, pew. Now the articulation is exactly the same, you guys. Nothing new. <gasps> so you can do 360. You can go 90 degrees, a little over 90 degrees. You might want to remove this so it doesn't get in the way. Toe pivot. Not because of transformation, it's just their waist articulation. It is a bit tight on my copy, but still, you can still do 360 degrees, and that is not because of transformation, as you just saw. The hair articulation is exactly the same as Ironhide. You've seen this review. You've seen this mold before already on my channel. But overall, still a nice figure. I think this is going for, um, 20, for about 25 bucks on eBay, around there. I'm not too sure how much it goes for now, but... um. Well, you're not going to get the shotgun upgrades unless you have Facebook. My friend Kevin Stoll, he lives in um Kansas. He could I'm not sure if he can still do um these things, but he can do commissions. But I believe he still has the files for these. But he this these are really beautiful. The the uh, purple tint it may it's hard to tell, but you can it's not as um dark it's not fully tinted, but you can see a little bit through on camera. If you have this in person anyway, yes. But in camera, it's hard to tell. But um, still, you guys, really nice figure. The weathering. Oh my goodness, really beautiful, you guys. This is just really beautiful. 
Yeah, some hollow bits, but it's been a thing, you guys. Nothing new there. I believe you can also do gap fillers, but I don't care for those. Because, like I said, hollowness in, G hollowness in Transformers has been a thing since G1 back in 1984, you guys. Nothing new there. So I'm not complaining, but dude, the weathering. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful, you guys. Really beautiful. So again, for, now I like to sometimes include this right here. To make it look like it's actually mounted on his arm. Kind of like Megatron's fusion cannon. To make it look as different from Iron Hat as possible. And to have him hold an actual shotgun. So he could be like shooting his firepower. He's got firepower on one on one side. Attacking the Autobots. Bang, bang, bang. Now, if you don't want him using this, you want him to use this. If you do buy the shotgun upgrade for my friend in Kansas, you, I, I, you could just do this. Yeah, you could um, store it in the back. So, yeah, my friend lives in Kansas. I'm in Arizona, you guys. But we have done business before. We have done business together since 2018, actually. So, I'm... So I've known him for a while now. Back where I used to live. Before this even existed. But overall you guys still. A really nice figure you guys. A really nice repaint. If you never got Ironhide nor Ratchet. Nor Crosshairs. And if they're just a bit too high for you. I think this is the cheapest version of the mold you can get right now on eBay. I think. But if you just want any version of the, the mold. Just get the Army Drone you guys. It's the weathering, the detail in this thing. Really beautiful, you guys. And if you're a big fan of Shattered Glass, this could go for a good custom Shattered Glass Ironhide. Just make them all black with, I want to say these, the fists and um, the upper arms being red. And give them the red eyes. You basically have a, your own Shattered Glass Ironhide. As long as you also with an Autobot, a purple Autobot symbol that represents the evil Autobots against the heroic Decepticons. Now, I don't care about Shattered Glass, you guys. I really don't. But this is still a nice repaint, you guys. I still like them as is. So this is actually really perfect for me. But if you can find this for a decent price, pick it up, you guys. You obviously will get them. In the beginning, you're not going to get them with those shotguns. You're going to get them... With this, unless, like I said, you could talk to my friend Kevin on Facebook. Is lot if you're in some Transformers groups, you know a guy named Kevin Stoll. I hope I hope I'm saying your last name right, Kevin. He lives in Kansas, you guys. You you will most likely get the drone wherever you buy him, like this. But the shotguns, if you want the shotguns, because it looks really good, go to my friend Kevin. As long as you have Facebook. Yeah, as long as you're in some Transformers groups as well it's there. That's how I got the drone. So you can do something like this. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Ready to, fi ready to fight some Autobots. Alright. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Netflix Army drone. I'll be back with another toy review ASAP. But for now, take care, you guys. To all are one. Nightmare 70 out.